Are you looking for a place to call home? Well, let me introduce you to Virginia's Shenandoah Valley. So hang around to the end of the video so you can find out why I say this is a place to live that you can call home. So let's go ahead and get started right now. Hi, my name's Stefan, and along with my wife, Leslie, we get phone calls and emails all the time from folks just like you who are looking to sell a home or to buy a home here in Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys. And as real estate agents, we love to help those folks when they call. So whether you're looking to move in nine days, 90 days, whatever the case is, call us, text us, email us, and we'll be happy to help you sell your home or to purchase the home of your dreams. Oh, and by the way, if you are interested in learning more about the real estate information here, and if you are interested in finding out a little bit more about some of the adventures we go on here, and if you like our videos, we'd be honored if you'd click that subscribe button and touch that bell icon, which will keep you up to date whenever a new video comes out. All right. So as I just said a moment ago, today's video is all about living in the Shenandoah Valley. You know, I personally believe that there really is a place for you and really just about anyone who wants to live in the Shenandoah Valley. You say, why do I say that? Well, obviously some people like to live in a city or a town, more urban area, and some people like to live in the country. And while the entire Shenandoah Valley is largely a rural area of farmland, and it's also a very scenic area, it does have several smaller cities for those preferring that urban feel. But before I talk about the country living in its unique and interesting smaller cities here in the area, let's get a little bit of the lay of the land. Uh, I want to talk about the lower half of the Shenandoah Valley, which is comprised of the counties of Rockingham, Augusta, and Rockbridge. Now, many times you'll see Leslie and I do videos on Albemarle and Nelson counties, and of course, Charlottesville as well. But for this video, I just want to talk about the area, these three counties here in the Shenandoah Valley. So first, Let's start at the north and work our way down. Let's talk about Rockingham County and its largest city, Harrisonburg. Uh, this county is located in approximately the middle of the Shenandoah Valley. Rockingham County is bordered on the east and west by the beautiful Blue Ridge and Appalachian Mountains. The picturesque uh, country countryside is composed of gently rolling farmland with some wooded areas as well. And it is a beautiful location in which to live. It is home to many well-known companies as well, such as Dan and Merck and Cargill. And those are just really but a few of the uh, major companies that provide thousands of jobs to the people here in the Shenandoah Valley. Uh, Massanutten Resort is an amazing four season resort that provides activities throughout all of the year. The city of Harrisonburg, moving into the city now, provides its residents with a small urban feel. It has a population of about 51,000 and it's the largest city in the entire Shenandoah Valley. Uh, it's home to James Madison University, which really affords Harrisonburg residents with tons of activities and athletic events to enjoy throughout the year. In Harrisonburg, you'll also find major retailers such as Best Buy, Costco, and many others. The downtown area is very historical as well and has several shops and restaurants that make it a really neat and fun place to be. Throughout Harrisonburg and in Rockingham County, outdoor recreation is extremely popular. You know, actually, Harrisonburg is known as the cycling capital of the Shenandoah Valley, and it boasts multiple trails throughout the city, and many of those ex trails extend throughout much of the countryside. There is also, of course, one of my favorites, multiple golf courses in both Harrisonburg and Rockingham County. Simply put, you will always be able to find something to do in Rockingham County and in Harrisonburg. So let's go ahead and let's move south to Augusta County and its two independent cities of Stanton and Waynesboro. 
You know, each one of those cities had their own look and their own unique look and their own unique feel as well. But let's go ahead and let's start with Augusta County. Like Rockingham County, it too is a major agricultural area uh, where both crops and cattle can be seen throughout the gently rolling hills and rills of the valley. Sitting at the intersection of Interstates 81 and 64, Augusta County is a very business-friendly county, but yet it has a wonderful balance and of, of business and light rural lifestyle. In Augusta County, you'll find companies such as Hershey and Cadence and Hollister, ho, excuse me, Hollister, and those are about a few of the companies that that make up their residence here in Augusta County. The county like Rockingham County, also has many recreational activities from which to choose, including several golf courses and multiple horse riding stables here as well. Additionally, there are multiple wineries and breweries in Augusta County, and they all provide a relaxing and beautiful setting to just enjoy the amazing wines and craft beers here in Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys. The cities of Stanton and Waynesboro, like I said, they're only about 10 miles apart, but each has their own unique vibe. The larger of the two, Stanton, with about 25,000 residents, has an amazing quaint downtown area with many shops and restaurants located amongst the classic buildings with beautiful and unique architecture. You know, Stanton is a hub for the arts as well. It has theaters and music and media arts. Its multiple theaters, arts and ga art galleries, and world-renowned music festivals make Stanton a treasure of the Shenandoah Valley. Another neat thing in Stanton is the Frontier Culture Museum. It's an outdoor living history museum, and it really is an exceptional place to learn about multiple cultures and their impact on the American frontier and its history. Stanton is also home to multiple parks that provide a lot of different opportunities for outdoor enjoyment. Now moving on to the next town, where good nature comes naturally is the slogan for Waynesboro. In Waynesboro, friendly residents enjoy hiking and uh, scenic drives and uh, they enjoy paddling down the South River and fly fishing in that same river as well, which is also stocked with trout. Waynesboro has a population of about 22,000 people and it has the largest consolidation of name brand shopping opportunities between Harrisonburg and Roanoke. It has major retailers like Kohl's and Old Navy and Target, just to name a few. Now, while not as bustling as Stanton's downtown area, Waynesboro is home to multiple shops and restaurants, and the downtown area is steadily revitalizing itself. Now, heading just west of town, you can enter the Shenandoah National Park. Excuse me, it's actually not west, I misspoke, it's actually east of town. You can go into the Shenandoah National Park. And you can go north onto Skyline Drive where the park is, or you can head right and you can go down the Blue Ridge Parkway to the south, all the way down to North Carolina. Both of those routes provide wonderful adventures and amazing views of the valley below. Now, as the Shenandoah Valley narrows, uh, it comes to an end, we come to the most rural of the three communities today. Rockbridge County and its two major cities of Lexington and Buena Vista have a more intimate feel. Uh, uh, the reason they have an intimate feel is because, the, as I mentioned, the mountains start to get close toward the end of the, the, the valley there. And so you just have that very intimate feel. One of the great things about Rockbridge County is the outdoor recreation. There's also mountain farms and horse farms, and there's just so much iconic scenery and things in Rockbridge County. Additionally, kayaking, canoeing, fly fishing, and hiking and camping are all favorite activities that are enjoyed by the residents and visitors alike in Rockbridge County. One reason there's so many horse farms in Rockbridge County is because of the Virginia Horse Center. 
Located on 600 acres just north of Lexington, the Virginia Horse Center is an amazing facility that features 19 show rings. It's got room for a thousand horses and it has a 4,000 seat auditorium where multiple shows are conducted throughout the year. And not just horse shows, but other shows, sh <laughs> shows as well. So let's go ahead and let's move into the talk about the small city of Lexington. Lexington has about 7,500 residents, and it really has a vibe unlike any other town that we've talked about so far today. In Lexington, history surrounds you in the downtown area, and with the two colleges of Virginia Military Institute, VMI, and Washington and Lee University, or as we call it, WNL, each college has a rich historical heritage and buildings that are open to the public. Uh, there's a museum at VMI, and that museum focuses on our rich history from a military point of view for over 200 years. Additionally, the beautiful chapel at, uh, at WNL University, Lee Chapel, uh, is an absolutely wonderful place to visit and learn about the history there as well. Similar to downtown Stanton, uh, Lexington is home to many quaint shops and restaurants, and it's really a great destination for many re residents, and a lot of visitors come there as well. Now let's move on over about 10 miles to the east, and we find Buena Vista with a population of about 6,600 people. It was a late 19th century boomtown. Uh, because of its location on the Murray River, it grew rapidly, and it was a manufacturing and industrial town. Throughout the mid and late 1900s, much of that industry ceased operation, leaving Buena Vista today with a handful of stores and restaurants in the downtown area. Its name is indicative of its location as well. Sitting at the foot of the Blue Ridge Mountains, Buena Vista offers residents and visitors some of the most amazing views of all of the towns in the Shenandoah Valley. The Maury River runs right through town as well, and along its banks lie Glen Maury Park, which has multiple activities, and it features a campground, which is a popular destination for thousands of campers each year. So that gives us an overall survey with some of the highlights of the towns and counties in the lower half of the Shenandoah Valley. Now, after taping this entire video, I realized it was entirely too long to put into one video, but there's a lot of great information yet to come. And so hang around to part two and also to part three. Yeah, it was really that long. Hang around and I'm going to tell you the rest about the Shenandoah Valley, at least the lower half here. We're going to go in, we're going to talk about the cost of living and housing prices here in the Shenandoah Valley. And we're also going to talk about the schools, healthcare, and the climate here in the Shenandoah Valley. So hang around and we're going to get to that. But like I say, at the end of this video, if you're interested in selling a home or purchasing a home here in Virginia's beautiful for mountains and valleys. Leslie and I will be more than happy to help you uh, complete any real estate transaction to walk you through that and assist you uh, that and we'd be honored to do that. So like I say, just call us, text us or email us and we'll jump right on it and we will make your real estate experience a smooth and enjoyable one. But until part two comes around and until next time, I will see you around town.